guys welcome back to my channel and this is the second part of my k-beauty haul and in this part i'm going to unbox talk about the makeup products that i've purchased recently and if you haven't seen the first part of the video in which i unbox the skincare products that i've bought uh, then please make sure to check it out in the description box moving on with the makeup products let's start the makeup products are all concealed in this smaller box let's open it up when i open it up the first thing that i see is this thing which is a gift from the site usually the sites gift like samples and all but this site gave me this uh this is a like a traditional pouch kind of thing wow it's really pretty in the first video i told you guys that i ordered my products from this website called althea and i'll put the link in the description box and this is not sponsored at all moving on <laughs> these are how many makeup products that i've ordered and starting with the first thing that comes on applying the makeup is cleaning your face of course and it's always said that whenever you want to apply the makeup since i have the beauty water i'm going to use the beauty water first because this creates a very nice base for putting on the makeup so that's what i did this time as well and honestly this time in this video the makeup that i put on is a lot of this makeup so you can see the makeup on my face and after that the thing that i'm gonna use is this primer the primer that i've ordered is lisa vecca skin liar primer so in this like so it's in this really cute packaging which looks like a video game it's like really small but i like primers go a really long way it doesn't have any english description on the packaging so i can't really describe a lot about it basically it's a primer the next thing that i have is this concealer this concealer is from the same and this is the cover perfection tip concealer and oh my god i almost cried because of this concealer like i had like super bright red acne marks and i'm not able to hide them with any color co corrector and like with even with like high coverage foundations and concealers i heard like raving reviews about this product so i got it and oh my god it's so amazing i only put it on like a little on my face and when i spread it out it just like completely removed the redness and my skin looked flawless so i'm so happy with this product i'm like super stoked also another another big problem with us international k beauty fans is that we don't really know the perfect shade for our color since we don't really get to try them on before we buy them so with foundations and concealers it's a really big problem because you don't know your shade you're just shooting in the dark and hoping that you get the right color for your skin uh but this this color this shade is almost perfect for my skin so i lucked out with this one this is the shade 2 that i'm using and it also has a spa 28 and pa plus plus what is pa moving on to the foundation i've got the face shops ink lasting foundation which also has spf 30 and pa plus plus in this and this is from the slim fit range and the shade that i have is v203 and again as i said as i mentioned before you can just guess the color that's going to suit you so an advice for all the international fans who haven't swatched it beforehand they haven't matched the color make sure to read like ton of reviews with that you get an idea about your shade and even then it's not the you're not going to get the perfect shade for you so the shade that i got was a little more towards the peach and the tones and my natural skin is more towards the yellow and the tones so it just looks a little off but i can make do with it the next product that i have are the lip products the lip products that i've ordered are 
some tints and a lip tattoo and I had also ordered a Tony Moly's tint which my sister took from me so I'll put the picture over here but the tints that I have currently are these Dear Darling tints and I, first of all I really like the packaging the packaging is like super sleek makes it look really cute yeah Korean beauty products have such cute packaging like I would buy them just for the packaging I'm such a superficial person so the shades that I have are PK002 and this is the shade that I have on currently <laughs> And this other shade is OR201 201. And I want to point out that even though this looks orange, but this applies pink. Doesn't make sense, right? This applies pink. To anybody out there who hasn't used Korean tints like me before, I've used Western liquid lipsticks before and they apply really well. They're really pigmented and all and they have a lot of shades and all. But whenever you apply them, they dry out your lips a little. But when I applied these ones, they were pigmented, they were pigmented enough, but they felt like a lip gloss. They didn't really feel like a lipstick. So I was like, it's gonna be really transferable. But after like five minutes or so, it just, it didn't dry out completely. My, even now, my lips feel very moisturized and it doesn't feel dry at all. And the color is perfect. It doesn't transfer at all. Like, I really really love that about Korean tints and I'm going to order Korean tints a lot from now on. The next product is a lip tattoo. It is from Wang Skin. It's a lip tattoo and I have all the shades. I have all the shades of lip tattoos from Berry Sum. These ones and I love them because they're a good job in giving a good enough color to your lips but they're not a substitute for lipsticks. Basically, if you don't know what a lip tattoo is, this is basically like colored glue, <laughs> but this is safe, trust me. So you put it on your lips and uh, it dries in a while, like 30, 40 seconds, and then you peel it off, like you peel off glue when you apply it on your skin. And then it leaves a um, really nice color on your lips. If you guys wanna see the swatch, let me show you. So when you apply it, it looks so dark. Like right now, it looks like bloody red, right? I'm gonna spread it. And right now, even the consistency is really thick. So that's the color, that's like bloody red. Now we're gonna wait for it to dry off for a while. Till then, let's talk about other products and then let's come back to it and rip it off later and show you the color. After this, I have one mascara from Misha. The name of the product is the Style Misha 4D Mascara and I haven't used it yet. Oh, the wand is like super long. Well, I don't have mascara on, but I suck at using mascara, so... Can you guys see the difference? If you can't, it's not the mascara, it's just this camera. After that, I ordered a brow mascara and this is from the company IDOL, Idol, I've never heard of this company before, but it was there and I think it was pretty cheap so that's why I ordered it and I have no idea why I ordered it in brown because my obviously my eyebrows are black in color but I ordered it in brown because just coloring my eyebrows even more black makes it look very threatening and very sagaji and I don't want to give off a threatening look because I'm like a super nice fun innocent person so I don't want to scare anybody off that's why I ordered this but this is like super brown so I figured out how to use it anyway I'm not gonna let it go to waste I spent some money on it so what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna apply it a little and then take a brush like a pointy brush which look like this I, so I'm gonna take that and then like just spread it around my eyebrow and mm, use it as a filler an eyebrow pencil an eyebrow marker whatever I'm gonna make do creativity at its best okay so the lip tattoo is dry now and I'm gonna peel it off 
this is how the peel comes out looks very creepy and then the final shade is this so it's like way lighter than what i started with moving on i don't know why i ordered this i ordered a bleach it was there in front of me when i was shopping and i was like what if i bleach like my own hair not all of it of course i'm just thinking 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 it's gonna take a lot of courage i'm gonna i'm thinking of bleaching like the ends of my hair like maybe this much and then try coloring it on my own not that i'm trying to save money but i just want to try and do it maybe i can do it if not then i can just like cut it all off so i ordered this bleach and i don't know which company it is from maybe the company's name is secret change hair bleach and i might never even use it so this like this might completely end up being a total waste of my money but i just had a feeling so it has a hair bleach lotion and one hair bleach powder if i use it someday oh i can make a video about it it might be a fun video to watch let me know if you want to watch that video let me know in the comments so it's from mediheal i didn't even know that mediheal is a pretty good brand now i feel like i want to use it a little because mediheal maybe i trust you maybe i can just like bleach it a little like make a cool ombre effect on my own finally the last product that i have is three packets of this misha's seven days coloring hair treatment and i have wanted this thing for so long because i've always wanted to color my hair but i don't want to damage it and all of that this thing it treats your hair while it colors your hair so even though the color won't last for a long time it'll last for seven to ten days maximum but it's going to color it a little but i don't know how well it's going to show on my black hair so that's why i ordered the bleach so i just bleach a little bit of my hair and then color the rest of it as well so that you guys can see the difference the color has on black hair and on bleached hair so i ordered it in smoke blue color and i ordered three packets because i have pretty long hair and this is pretty small so this is probably not going to color all of my hair so maybe three packets are going to do it okay guys so that was it for my haul and i hope you guys enjoyed this and before i end this video as i mentioned in the starting i'm going to try to explain to you why i had to spend so much extra energy and money for these products so it's basically because now in india it the rule wasn't there before ever since the implementation of gst which is goods and services tax the cost of custom duty on all imported cosmetic products is 52 percent of the total product value that you have ordered so let's say if i have ordered 50 dollars worth of products i'll have to pay more than 25 dollars for the custom duty so if you are an indian k-beauty fan who has been ordering k-beauty internationally and has faced a similar problem then please let me know in the comments let me know what you're doing now and how you're getting your k-beauty products now and if you have any ideas about how i can get it then please let me know if you want to know more about the custom duty system then please ask me in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed my haul video and i'll try to link all of these products in the description box if you guys want to check it out and let me know in the comments if you guys have used any of the products that i've ordered and if you guys want me to do more k-beauty related videos then please let me know in the comments because i'll be like super stoked by hearing that from you guys if you like this whole video then make sure to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun k-beauty k-pop related videos